I know there probably isn't a huge demand for something like this for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5, and critics are just bashing this game relentlessly, mostly on aesthetics. Sure, the graphics aren't the best, and the game glitches out a lot when you wreck, but the gameplay is top-notch. But this isn't a review. No, no, it's a no BS guide. This guide is for the barracks level, and I will teach you how to 100% the free skate mode and get all the six scores on the missions for the Slight Sickness trophy. When you first enter Free Skate, you will see a bunch of other people skating around. They are just there visually, may bump into you, but cannot mess you up. The map is useless in this guide, so I'll just show you where each of the 8 crates are that you need to break. They aren't really hidden and should be found easily. Hopefully you completed the tutorial, but in case you didn't, some crates can only be gotten if you hold up while going up on a ramp. Uh, oops. <laughs> I don't know why, but they made Tony Hawk control really derpy. And hold up, and that's the last of the crates. Now I'll show you how to get skate. Like in past games, you need to collect the five letters. S is straight ahead from where the level begins. K is kinda hidden here. A is here. T requires you to ramp off here. And E is in the pool, obtained by ramping off this side. All this is pretty easy so far, right? Yeah, because it's all a no-brainer, like the so-called hidden DVD and VHS tape, which aren't hidden. The DVD is found by hitting this half pipe at just the right angle. It's okay if you wipe out. You'll still get it. The VHS tape is found high up on a rail. Get to it by approaching a half pipe at this angle and grind the high rail all the way down and ollie to get it. Still, everything is incredibly easy, right? Well, the hardest part is stringing together a combo and collecting all the letters of the word. The best way to do this is by bridging each letter with a manual, which is up, down, or down, up. I start with a grind, ollie, manual, ollie, grind, ollie, manual, then ollie for the last letter. May take a few tries, but remember to keep that arrow in the middle or the combo will break. Now for the missions. We need to complete all these on six, so we need to three star each mission and I found just the way. Instead of stopping at these dumb markers dispersed throughout the map and holding square, it's easier to hit select back or touchpad than scroll down to missions. So let's start with the first one. Halcyon High is a generic high score mission. The sixth score of 150,000 points is ridiculously easy, so you should be able to get this one on your first try by stringing together combos and using the trick meter with L1 or left bumper and lots of grinds. Ow! And don't forget to grind. Grinding is easily exploitable for tons of points when coupled with manuals, kickflips, grabs, and more grinds. I know I'm playing kind of sloppy here, but whatever. When I recorded this, I'm, I was still getting used to the game's mechanics. I wiped out at least four times and I still got 225,000 points, so there's no excuse as to why you can't do this too. Big Head Barracks is pretty easy. Simply put, your head will continue to grow rapidly and decrease when you land successful combos. When your head blows, it's over. You just need to last at least 65 seconds. Oh, there's so much sexual innuendo and in everything I'm saying. Wow. It's a good idea to take advantage of the trick meter because the higher points you score, the more your head size will decrease. It's okay to mess up one or two times if you can rebound and pull off more high scores. And... POW! Well that was fun. You should have no problem here. The Barracks Ball Buster is a fairly hard one, but not the hardest. You need to get all 30 beach balls out of the pool or blow them up from hard hits. The best way to do this one, actually, is to not focus on doing any tricks whatsoever besides the occasional ollie. Just hold R2 or right trigger and zigzag around wildly trying to hit as many beach balls as possible and don't be afraid to break with L2 or left trigger. I recommend starting over if you wipe out, and this may take a few tries. The last couple of balls can be a bitch and sometimes won't cooperate. So, yeah, that's how it goes pretty much. And you're done. How's that? The ice cream, you scream one is a weird one and can be extremely difficult if you don't take this exact route. The more ice cream you gather, the bigger your head gets, but don't worry, it won't explode. If you wreck, you lose all the ice cream, so you would want to restart if you're going for the 60 high score. Basically, you just go this route.
And at this point, deliver the ice cream to the pool. When you do, all the ice cream resets back to where they were originally. Remember to hold up as you hit the lip in order to leave the pool. Each run, you'd gather about 32 ice cream cones and you have just enough time to do this twice. It's okay if you miss a few though, you only need 60. Tacka Turn Tricks is unbelievably easy. Basically hold the Ollie button the entire time. Let go of the Ollie button and do what the game says. Don't even think about where you are in the level either. Just keep the Ollies going along with the trick. When it says to grind, just quickly get somewhere where you can grind and keep on doing what it says. I got the high score of 300 on my first try. It really depends on the tricks it randomly generates for you. But chances are you'll have no problem at all with this one. Look, 520 points. Not bad at all. Now, Glendale Grind is really rough unless you know somewhere to exploit. The mission gives you points depending on the distance you grind, so the faster and longer you grind, the better. To do this, I can only think of one area great for grinding, and that's over here. Take advantage of wall jumps to keep going back and forth. Try to aim for the high rail as it's the longest grind rail in the level, and make sure you try to balance to keep the arrow in the middle to keep the grind going. Just keep on going back and forth, back and forth, while keeping up the wall jumps, and you can get it easily. Look at that. 5,454 points. Are you kidding me? How high is a really tough one too, but you know what? I used a similar tactic in the same area as the last one. Points are accumulated by how high you are in the air and multiplied by the trick meter. First I built up my trick meter by grinding like so, activated it, and then I wall jumped to get to the highest rail, and this is where it gets tricky. Keep on this one rail by mashing the ollie button at each end to wall jump, then the grind button to grind, and just keep going back and forth as long as you can. Repeat this process over and over and you'll get 5,000 points in no time. If you wipe out, you might as well restart the mission, because it takes away any trick meter you got and precious time. Look, done! In Trick Spot Scallywag, I cannot emphasize enough how many more points are gained by grinding rather than being in the air. This one says points gained in the pool area, which means the pool lip is definitely up for grabs, not only to build your trick meter, but to pull off countless numbers and points. You can more than double the required 75,000 points easily by using the pool lip to grind in the trick meter. You can basically do whatever you want, this is an easy one. Just don't wreck too much. And then you'll be done in no time with plenty of points to spare. The next two are easy ones once you get the pattern. In Ring Rumpus, you hit every ring in the time limit. It may take a few tries to remember where every ring is and to increase your time. You have 30 seconds to get all the rings, so if you miss a ring or crash, you need to restart. Pulling off tricks and stunts will increase your speed, so it's recommended. You can easily pull this off within 30 seconds, especially after two or three tries. It's a short one, so enjoy. And really, that's it. Attack of the Drones is my favorite and the last one for the Slight Sickness Trophy. This one requires a little skill, multiple ollies and grinding for speed to hit all the drones in the time limit of 25 seconds. This wall jump here is an imperative for speed and can be done by holding up and hitting the ollie button. This mission may take a few tries, but you'll get it pretty quick. Just follow this route and you'll have it done in no time. Grind for speed and you'll be good. And done. Good job! You did it! And here's a nice little trophy for you. By now, you 100% completed the level The Barracks. Stay tuned for more No BS guides on the rest of the levels coming very soon. I hope you enjoyed this, and be sure to subscribe for more.